When you're working in a pivot table, you might want to select a specific part of that pivot table in order to change some of the formatting, for example, the font or a fill color, just to highlight part of the pivot table. To select a specific part, you can use the selection arrow. And here you can see that as I point to the top border of the region heading, that thick black arrow appears. When I click, it selects all of the region headings. The same thing under location, if I click at the top border of that heading, it selects all of the location headings. If I click at the edge, the left edge of a heading, it selects just that heading. If I click at the left edge of the rural location, it selects the rural locations only and it excludes the urban. And if I select the labels here, I might also want to include the numbers when I'm going to format. And to do that, we can go to the ribbon and change one of the settings. On the ribbon, if you go to the tool, the pivot table tools tab and click on options, in the actions group, click on select and you have options to choose labels, values, and in this case we want both the labels and the values, so we'll click on that. And now back in the pivot table we can see that the numbers are now included, so we have the labels and the values for those sub subheadings. If the selection arrow doesn't appear for you, there's another setting in the ribbon that you can change to make it appear. Again, in the same part of the ribbon, on the Options tab, in the Actions group, under Select, click and just make sure that the Enable Selection option is activated. You'll see a thin border around its icon. If it's not active, just click on it and that will activate it. And with that option activated, you should see the arrow and you can select any part of the pivot table.